X-ray binaries are a class of binary stars that are luminous in X-rays. The X-rays are produced by matter falling from one component, called the donor, usually a relatively normal star, to the other component, called the accretor, which is compact, a white dwarf, neutron star, or black hole. The infalling matter releases gravitational potential energy, up to several tenths of its rest mass, as X-rays. Hydrogen fusion releases only about 0.7% of rest mass, an estimated 1,041 positrons escape per second from a typical hard low-mass X-ray binary. Classification X-ray binaries are further subdivided into several, sometimes overlapping, subclasses, that perhaps reflect the underlying physics better. Note that the classification by mass High, intermediate, low, refers to the optically visible donor, not to the compact X-ray emitting a creature. Low-mass X-ray binary A low-mass X-ray binary, LMXB, is a binary star, where one of the components is either a black hole or a neutron star. The other, donor, component usually fills its roach lobe, and therefore transfers mass to the compact star. The donor is less massive than the compact object and can be on the main sequence, a degenerate dwarf, white dwarf, or an evolved star, red giant. Approximately 100 LMXBs have been detected in the Milky Way, and of these, 13 LMXBs have been discovered in globular clusters. New data from the Chandra X-ray Observatory has revealed LMXBs in many distant galaxies. A typical low-mass X-ray binary emits almost all of its radiation in X-rays, and typically less than 1% in visible light, so they are among the brightest objects in the X-ray sky, but relatively faint in visible light. The apparent magnitude is typically around 15 to 20. The brightest part of the system is the accretion disk around the compact object. The orbital periods of LMXBs range from 10 minutes to hundreds of days. Intermediate Mass X-Ray Binary An Intermediate Mass X-Ray Binary, IMXB, is a binary star system where one of the components is a neutron star, or a black hole. The other component is an Intermediate Mass Star. High Mass X-Ray Binary A High Mass X-Ray Binary, HMXB, is a binary star system that is strong in X-rays and in which the normal stellar component is a massive star, usually an O or B star, a B star, or a blue supergiant. The compact, X-ray emitting component is generally a neutron star, black hole, or possibly a white dwarf. A fraction of the stellar wind of the massive normal star is captured by the compact object and produces X-rays as it falls onto the compact object. In a high-mass X-ray binary, the massive star dominates the emission of optical light, while the compact object is the dominant source of X-rays. The massive stars are very luminous and therefore easily detected. One of the most famous high-mass X-ray binaries is Cygnus X1, which was the first identified black hole candidate. Other HMXPs include Vela X1 not to be confused with VELAX, and 4U1700-37. Microquasar Artists' impression of the microquasar SS433. A microquasar, or radio-emitting X-ray binary, is the smaller cousin of a quasar. Microquasars are named after quasars as they have some common characteristics, strong and variable radio emission, often resolvable, as a pair of radio jets and an accretion disk surrounding a compact object which is either a black hole or a neutron star. In quasars, the black hole is supermassive, millions of solar masses, and microquasars, the mass of the compact object is only a few solar masses. In microquasars, the accreted mass comes from a normal star, and the accretion disk is very luminous in the optical and X-ray regions. Microquasars are sometimes called radio jet X-ray binaries, to distinguish them from other X-ray binaries. A part of the radio emission comes from relativistic jets, often showing apparent superluminal motion. Microquasars are very important for the study of relativistic jets. The jets are formed close to the compact object, and timescales near the compact object are proportional to the mass of the compact object. 
Therefore, ordinary quasars take centuries to go through variations of microquasar experiences in one day. Noteworthy microquasars include SS-433, in which atomic emission lines are visible from both jets, GRS-1915, plus 105, with an especially high jet velocity, the very bright Cygnus X-1, and the microquasar candidate LSI, plus 61303, which has been discovered to emit VHE, very high energy, gamma rays.